Yeah. You are watching a master at work. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Apa King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Yes, you guys are watching the NBA Live 19 video. I know in the comments, y'all going to be like, where the 2K at? Man, I've been uploading 2K since I can remember. Y'all ain't out here trying to watch. Where y'all know these at, man? Where know these gang at? But uh, let's talk about NBA Live for a second, man. I didn't even know that every time they update their game, they got a dope Reddit forum post going on, man. That's big, man. That's huge. I'm tired of hot fixes in games, and we don't even know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Reddit, man. Shout out to NBA Live for that. But uh, let's talk about this Rocket gear real quick, man. You guys know that NBA All-Star Weekend just happened. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was real. It was all right. It was, you know what I'm saying? The celebrity game was all doo-doo. I think the dunk contest was all right. Three-point contest really hit it off. You know what I'm saying? That that all-star game, ah, ah, how LeBron come back? We ain't even going to talk about that. Let's talk about NBA Live real quick, man. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm actually coming back to NBA Live. Um, I've been off of NBA Live for a few months now. I've streamed here and there on my Facebook gaming page, but I really haven't grinded on live at all. And I just wanted to see where the state of the game was. Now, I know for All-Star Weekend, the game was on sale for about $6. Now, I'm not sure if the game is still on sale for $6. Uh, $6 is crazy. But if the game isn't on sale, hey, man, you missed out on that deal. It ain't my fault. I ain't, I ain't here to give you guys deals and all that. But what I can say that I'm here for is to tell you guys how NBA Live feels, how it plays, and if anything has honestly changed. Now, coming from a person that hasn't played in a few months, I am a basketball fan. So don't make it seem like all the NBA Live fanboys and all that coming for me, talking about, man, you ain't played this game in a minute. Why are you coming back? I'm not trying to hear all that. I'm just trying to give you guys my breakdown on how the game is playing right now. Now, check it out, man. We're going up against all AIs. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know how I am the point guard. I'm 6'8". You know what I'm saying? I see a bunch of shorter people than me on the court, but it's all good. Now, check this out. The floater. The floater worked pretty nice. It was kind of contested. I feel like it was too much all net. Maybe that's just me. But I can tell you guys that my teammates this game played a lot better than the Randys that I played with a few months ago. But the biggest problem is this actual court for the Rocket in London, England. This hang is terrible. I do not like that hang. You guys will see that all game long not sure why that's there but the defense is still immaculate from the cpu getting that still right there actually the big didn't drop down or didn't cut outside so you know it was kind of a help defense situation now i contested that shot don't know why it didn't come off but honestly if you're not in front of the player i can see why he made it and um i don't know that guy's psn but man he did not even put his hands up now that shot should have got blocked <laughs> that's just coming from me man um i don't know why shooters on nba live tend to pull in people's faces so much they don't even wait for space they don't even wait for their traits to pop up and i don't know why but hey man this hang is pissing me off man i don't know if that's like um some type of like drape or what i don't know what it is like i don't know what's in the rafters i don't know why that is there but at ea if you're watching this video if anybody can send this video to ea please let them know we do not want that hang on this court especially if you make this court playable um on live run this would piss people off because every time that they score there is a hang you can't see where you're going on defense at all so you know that's that's one of those things that piss people off a lot now, I'm going to drop to the rack right here. Don't know how I made that. But, hey, it gave me a plus nine for a driving score. I can't be mad at that. Now, one of those defensive plays that we all love where people are actually just playing great defense, you know, trying to get the CPU not to score. This was amazing. I haven't seen this in a long time in NBA Live, man. Usually, there's always somebody lacking. Always there's somebody AFK. You know, even some people come and play live just for the unlocks and the rewards and literally move their controller maybe like once or twice every like two minutes so they don't get kicked. And it pisses me off, man. I feel like if, if a person's AFK for more than a minute, bruh, they got to go, man. Now, I know you guys seen that dope bounce pass right there. What I've noticed in NBA Live, if you throw overhead passes near the CPU, more often than none, they will get picked off. So, uh, please don't throw too many overhead passes. Now, check out that fast break right there. Nobody got back on that fast break. Don't know who's guarding that guy. 
but I can tell that my teammates are very slow. And um, I guess that's probably why they have me at point guard because I'm much faster, I have better ball handling. And look at this pass right here, another overhead pass, but this time it was space. This time it wasn't nobody trailing. This time it wasn't nobody helping. So, you know, that worked out for us. Now that three right there, mm -mm, that ain't it, Chief. Don't know what's going on. Maybe that was a heat check because, you know, they've been scoring so many points. But I do like the fact that they got back on defense, came down for the rebound. Now, this right here, I don't know what this person was doing, but that's the second time that they done did something stupid. How you going to try to dribble after you picked up your dribble? What is going on now? I don't know if that's one of the cancerous, toxic players on NBA Live. I don't know. I ain't going to say your PSN, but you know who you are if you're watching. But uh, all I can say is that bounce back right there was not supposed to go in, but I clutched it. <laughs> Don't know how that went in, and here we go with the hang again, man. Don't really like that. Now, it's 1919. You guys already know, man. It's all on us to win this game. Well, actually, it's all on me. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there because they gave the ball to me. And since I've been playing 2K with my small forward, I've learned something a little cheesy. It's called the post spin. I got the little blow by, and we are done, ladies and gentlemen. Win by two. The unlock is coming. Uh, player of the game is coming. So what I can tell you guys from that game is that whatever is in the rafters up there, you see the, the things behind me, the, like the orange rafters. Please, EA, um, take the, one of the rafters out that's like right behind the court because that is really going to drive people crazy. Not only for this event, but especially if you guys come with live run. Um, another thing that pisses me off is, is AFK users, man. You guys will see later in this video, we had another AFK user, you know what I'm saying, in a 3v3 game, and it, it ticked me off so much, man. Like, dude was literally AFK, then he quits, and then leaves us to get our body, like, I mean, body, guys. We got body by three players because of me and this other dude that wasn't passing. Now, what I do want to tell you guys is the reason why I have shooting traits on this build and he is not a shooter is because I wanted to make him a little bit better at shooting instead of driving all the time. I know that driving is very easy and you guys seen it right there with that post up, but let me show you guys my traits real fast, man. So going into my traits, I have catch and shoot, I have late to the party, and I have open three. Now, since I haven't played in a few months, I actually don't have late to the party or open three on gold, but I'm pretty close. I'm pretty, pretty close. Now, I only have to hit about 26 more open three pointers with good timing and able to get this gold trait. Late to the party, I think I have to hit like uh, a few more contested threes, I believe. I think I got like 36 out of 50 or something like that. So that's pretty good. And catch and shoot, I got that on gold because it's nothing. I got that early on in the game. Now, let's talk about live run. Now, I opened this up to the public. I didn't go private. I didn't, you know, invite any friends or anything like that. I wanted to see the toxicity. I wanted to see the bull crap that goes on. And I can tell you guys right now, this game right here was packed with it. Packed with it. Not only do they have me at center <laughs> losing <laughs> and will not win, but they have this point guard dude. I don't know who he is, where he from. But all I can say is this dude, not only was he getting bodied, he went AFK on us and left us alone. Now, I, I can say that flashy pass I threw, I didn't know I was going to throw that flashy pass. That's on me. But everything after that, that's on these two dudes. I'm going to tell you why. Check this out. I don't know what this dude doing. Look at him. He did two hesitations and tried to behind the back, lost the ball. And oh my God, look at the bounce pass for three. Now, that's four points by this dude right here. You know what I'm saying? Now, we need to talk about the dude that's wearing his Golden State gear. That's four points by his man. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Now, he comes down with a nice move. You know what I'm saying? Gets the, the space that he needs. Most likely, whatever traits he has on, they lit up, and he took the perfect shot. But, oh, my God, I didn't know we was going to keep trying the same move. Now, maybe some people in NBA Live go with their gut, go with what, they, what works. And I can tell you guys right now, man, that ain't going to work because you're going to see a lot of that the rest of this game. And this dude is not going to be able to hit his shots. Now, let's talk about the point guard for a moment. Putting on a few dribbles. Getting lost. You know what I'm saying? And, oh, my goodness, did he try to shoot another contested three? Jesus Christ. What is going on? And I don't know why you're jumping, my man. That ain't it. But look at this. Coming down the lane, we get the rebound, luckily. But uh, watch what happens here, guys. 
Oop, excuse me. Uh oh. Going to the rack. Just me and my lonesome. Never passed the ball, guys. Never passed the ball. Never even thought about pressing X. And we're now down two to six. Now I want to show you guys something real special. This is what happens on a daily basis on NBA Live 19. You see that dude AFK? You see our point guard not even coming back down on defense, I mean on offense. And I pull up for the green. That's cash out, open three, catch and shoot. But check it out. That's who we got on our team now. C P U. That's right, guys. The point guard has left the building. And the shooting guard, I don't know what he's doing. He finally passed the ball. Now, I go to the rack. Thought I had an easy layup, but I don't have my finishing uh, traits on. But luckily, the CPU is out here saving us. He plays a lot better as a CPU, surprisingly. Now, I can tell you guys right now, this dude in the Golden State jersey was getting baked. <laughs> he was getting baked, ladies and gentlemen. All I can say is... Not no cookies, man. He was getting baked like a cake, man. It was looking bad out here. Now, I told y'all, he had like two or three moves that he would do. Nothing too fancy. You know what I'm saying? He'd do two or three moves and look, got to give it up. Finally passes it right here. Now, I want to show you guys something else. I do a couple moves here. You know what I'm saying? A little step back. I get the open three trait to pop up. I give him a little wiggle wiggle. Between the legs, step back. The open three pops up again. And I go to the top of the bar. It says late to the party. And then it's off. My green window disappeared. Now, I know that I am a wing scorer. I know that my uh, traits and my overall of that uh, actual attribute is not high. But, man, oh, man. Would I have loved to be able to hit a green when I seen that green. But uh, this is the last play of the game. This is the last play of the video. All I got to tell y'all, they got me. Look, I'm ball watching, literally ball watching. And oh my God. Oh my God. You seen that? But hey, guys, what do you guys think about NBA Live, man? For all my NBA Live players out there that play on a daily basis, I want to see you guys in the comment section. What's your thoughts on the progression of the game in the last few months? And for everybody else that plays 2K, I want to know, would you play this game? Let me know. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.